Hello there, and welcome back to the EZ30 build here on Lead Follow. Today, we are going to be doing a deep clean of all six of the fuel injectors that came out of this engine so that they are prepared, ready to go back in, along with all the brand new seals that we're doing as part of this engine rebuild. So, let's get on it. Now, with a lot of the people that I speak to about this, there's a big misconception that in order to clean fuel injectors, you need a big, expensive, fancy machine, when in fact, all you need is three things number one a cheap injector cleaning tool you can get these off ebay amazon they vary from 10 pounds 30 pounds nice and easy you need some carb cleaner spray this is what we're going to be using to actually clean the injectors through and then lastly you're going to need some injector rebuild kits these are actually quite affordable i got these from china they were less than 10 pounds and there's enough seals and filters to clean and service eight injectors of course on this engine we've only got six so it's always good to have two of everything as a spare okay so i already have all six injectors removed from the engine as part of the last video that we did on this engine and the first thing we need to do is remove the little filters tiny little filters that just go into the top of the injectors you can see the little metal part that's uh looking like a washer shining at the top we need to get those out so that we can replace them with the brand new filters and you can see one of the brand new filters there with its little gold top um, they are very tiny so they're not the easiest thing to get out however we can use a special tool to remove them and that is called a very long screw one of the ways you can do it is just to insert the screw into the end twist it in and then pull it out i've already actually removed this one so they came out nice and easy but usually they're very difficult to get out by hand this way so the way i do it so i usually put the screw into the vise upside down as so and this gives you the ability to keep both hands free for maximum pulling force taking the filter out so you just screw that down until it feels like it's as deep as it's going to go then you just pull up and as you can see the filter is on the screw so just got to repeat that six times to get all the filters out just remember don't go in too far with the screw because we don't want to do any damage to the injector we just want to get enough threads gripping on the filter that when we pull the filter can come off oh, there you go so we've got the filters removed from all six injectors now and the next thing to do is take the injector plastic nozzle attachments from the fuel injector tester kit and actually insert one of the injectors into the nozzle now not all of the kits come with these so make sure when you're buying a kit you definitely get these otherwise you're going to have to then go and purchase these separately and as you can see one's got a big hole one's got a small hole now the ez30 actually uses a small injector type so we're going to be using the small adapter and it just pushes in like so now we take the can of the car cleaner and we remove the cap and we actually have to remove this nozzle so with the nozzle removed we can actually attach the injector on this adapter to the top of the spray can. And what this does is it pressurizes the injector on the fuel rail side, and this is what we're gonna clean the injector through with. Okay, so let's open the kit and take out the tool. Don't worry about the instructions, it's very straightforward. The tool comes with some large crocodile clips, which will go onto a car battery for power. And then it comes with two small cables that go onto the pins of the injector. And I'll just remove the injector again, just so that it's easy to see how it connects. So we've got the injector here with the two electrical pins. And from what I understand, it doesn't really matter which way around you put these pins. The voltage can be supplied in either direction and that will actuate the fuel injector. Now, luckily I have myself a spare car battery here, but you can do this on the car as long as the engine is not running. So we've got the tester on. There are three different pulse settings. You can have short, medium, and long. 
start with a short pulse first, I think. Let's get the injector back into the nozzle. Down on the gas, you might have to hold the injector on because the pressure from the can sometimes pops the injectors off. And then, how cool is that? So again, starting with a short pulse, number one. Pulse. 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 Of course, be very careful. This is flammable gas and there could be sparks from your battery. So try to keep the two very separate. Never spray towards the battery. Cool. So just running through all three tests is usually enough. Quite happy with that injector. Okay, so five done. Here's the last one. So let's get a nice close up shot so you can see very clearly how the spray pattern works. So again, I'm going to set it to spray pattern one, which is short. Now we go to medium spray pattern. And then lastly, the long spray pattern. And we're done. So unfortunately, one of my injectors turned out to be no good and it will need replacement. I'm gonna to have to get another one off eBay. Unfortunately, once I attached the carb cleaner to it, even before I pressed the button to pulse it, the carb cleaner was coming straight through so unfortunately, this injector is stuck open, which is a big no-no. We can't go putting that back into the engine. However, at least with the other five injectors, we can move on to now fitting the new filters and all the new seals. Okay, so we take our freshly clean injector, we take one of the brand new filters, make sure your fingers are nice and clean, and we just insert this in the end and push down as far as we can. There's no grooves inside the injector. They don't go in in a particular way to just push it on in as far as you can go. Then I'd recommend you take a flat sided spanner and just gently tap down on the filter until the kind of the golden brass bit that you can see has fully slid down as so, and everything's nice and flush. And you've just got to repeat for all your other injectors. So we've got here one of the injectors that we've just cleaned with the tool but we've also got to clean the outside and we've got to put all the brand new seals on. So firstly, we're going to remove the big donut seal from the spraying end. And then from the other side, we've got a little O-ring where it goes into the fuel rail. Take that off. And then there's like a H-shaped seal and we take that off also. Now I've just got to give it a dousing down with carb cleaner and then I can take the remaining crud off with a rag. All nice and clean on the outside too now. So I'm going to start with the spraying end. We take our brand new fat rubber donut seal. We just pop that on the front, flip it over. Let's take the H style seal, put that on, push it all the way down to the bottom. A bit tricky this one. There we go. And then lastly, we've got the now orange O-ring for the fuel rail side. And there we go. Just got to repeat that for all the other injectors and then they're ready to go back in the engine. So that brings us to the end of another EZ30 video. Hope you guys are still enjoying this series of videos at home. Sorry, it's a bit slow paced and we haven't actually got the engine in the car yet, but the whole point of this series was that we were going to go through each step 
in detail so that anybody at home who's planning on doing an EZ30 or EZ36 swap into their own car can follow this guide and know exactly the steps that are required to do so. But hopefully now that it's New Year, now that we have Christmas behind us, I'll be picking up a BRZ soon. I've been very much squirreling away on the eBay and the auto trade and the Facebook. Came close to buying a few cars this week, but unfortunately they didn't pan out. Some had accident damage, dodgy finance history. Just want to stay well clear of them, but hope springs eternal. So thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.